The closer we get to the outer regions of our planetary system, the greater the mysteries that surround the celestial bodies there are. Mighty Uranus, for example, which is enthroned nearly 2 billion miles away from Earth. Due to this immense distance between the ice giant and our blue home planet, the exploration of Uranus is naturally much more complicated than the investigation of those planets that are in our immediate galactic neighborhood. Despite this, leading experts have already succeeded in gaining some groundbreaking insights into the giant planet. A recently published report has become the focus of particular scientific interest. Just what it's about, and which astonishing information we collected about Uranus in addition, We'll show you now. Do you want to see more exciting videos about the most impressive discoveries in space? Then subscribe to Simply Space to never miss any of our videos again. If you like our content, show us with a thumbs up. At the end of our video, take a look at the exciting articles that we have linked for you in the credits. Let's now turn our attention to the new discovery on Uranus. Fascinating Phenomena – X-Rays in the Universe It seems as if the planet named after a god from Greek mythology always has new surprises in store for terrestrial researchers. A few weeks ago, a groundbreaking report was released to the public that sheds a completely new light on the natural composition of the ice giant. Specifically, the scientists came across mysterious radiations emitted from Uranus into the endless expanse of the universe. In fact, these are mysterious X-rays. This groundbreaking discovery not only astonished the researchers, but also raised a burning question. How is this even possible? To get to the bottom of this exciting circumstance, let's first consider how X-rays are naturally generated in the galactic context. Scientists agree that X-rays shoot through the universe whenever matter is heated very intensely, so they not only originate from the Sun, but also occur whenever a powerful star goes supernova. This breathtaking galactic event represents the last chapter in the life of a star. In essence, it is the last sparkling flash of the structure caused by a gigantic explosion. Since such an explosion is synonymous with the destruction of the original star, a supernova is often referred to as stellar death. At the end of this impressive process, however, a gaping void does not necessarily remain at the former position of the star. If the corresponding celestial bodies are particularly massive stars, a neutron star sometimes remains at the end of the supernova. But legendary black holes also emerge from the breathtaking stellar explosion. Naturally, the original temperatures of a star increase many times when it goes supernova. As already mentioned, this releases the characteristic X-ray radiation that scientists have recently also been able to detect in the immediate vicinity of Uranus. However, since the average temperature on the planet is estimated to be a bone-chillingly cold negative 323 degrees Fahrenheit, the question remains, why the X-rays occur in the vicinity of the imposing ice giant of all places. The Riddle of Uranus's X-rays The fact that X-ray emissions are detected from the other representatives of our planetary system is not a new finding. In fact, these galactic residues are formed as soon as the emitted X-rays hit those atoms moving within planetary atmospheres. Incoming radiation is ultimately reflected and scattered back into the infinite expanse of space. However, the fact that this effect also takes place on Uranus was completely unknown to scientists until now. What seems even more fascinating? The X-rays recorded in the environment of the ice giant had an intensity corresponding to that of star X-rays. Thus, scientists discerned that the brightness around the planet became four times stronger than before, within a very short time. So it seems that the measured radiations are not reflections of other X-rays. Rather, the conclusion is that the corresponding rays 
are generated in the immediate vicinity of the ice giant. It is in the nature of experts, of course, that they immediately set out to find possible explanations for this impressive galactic spectacle. One possible answer to the question of where the X-rays around Uranus come from could be found in the nature of the planet's rings and the areas around them. The giant planet's faint ring system, however, is not comparable to the gigantic complex that orbits Saturn. While the iconic ring planet is surrounded by more than 100,000 individual orbits, Uranus enjoys the galactic company of only 13 independent rings. They consist mainly of frozen water ice particles that are combined with some organic constituents. The areas between the rings and the planet surface are rich in charged particles. If these electrons and protons now collide with the organic components of the rings of the celestial body, X-rays could actually be produced. Another thesis deals with the unique axial position of Uranus. In combination with its obliquely aligned magnetic field, highly complex auroras could be created that emit X-rays. Earth-based experts now hope that the mystery of Uranus's baffling X-rays can finally be unraveled during future space missions. However, it will likely be several years before these large-scale projects are finally put into action. As is well known, the Voyager 2 spacecraft was the first and only unmanned spacecraft to pass the fabled ice giant in 1986. The Flipped Planet Until the mystery of the X-rays is solved, we'll turn to some other groundbreaking discoveries that have already been made about Uranus in the past. As we have just briefly mentioned, one thesis explaining the X-rays is related to the unusual axial position of the celestial body. Typically, the planets of our solar system align themselves in their inclination with the position of the Sun. In simple terms, this means that one pole of the planet is always slightly tilted to the central fixed point of our solar system. For example, the inclination of the Earth's axis is about 23.5 degrees, and the inclination of the axis of the famous red planet can be estimated at about 24 degrees. These natural alignments have a direct influence on the climate changes on a planet and the four different seasons. The axis inclination of Uranus, however, falls clearly out of this known scheme. The corresponding inclination value in this case amounts to 99 degrees. To express this differently, that means that in contrast to its galactic neighbors, Uranus rotates practically on its side. While we can imagine the other planets in the solar system like slightly inclined spinning tops, Uranus resembles in its rotational motion rather a ball rolling in a circular path over the ground. A day at the North Pole of Uranus This natural alignment in turn leads to another perplexing circumstance on Uranus. Basically, the ice giant Uranus needs 17 hours to rotate once completely around its own axis. Depending on where you are on the celestial body, these short days can be significantly longer. Due to the strong axis inclination, one pole of the planet is always aligned directly to the Sun. Half a Uranus year passes until the opposite pole turns towards the fixed star of the solar system. And this time span corresponds to an incredible 42 Earth years. If one observes the picturesque sunrise, thus at the north pole of the giant planet, it lasts a full 42 years before the radiating disk disappears again in the horizon. The following night lasts just as long. The Galactic Ice Queen With an equatorial diameter of more than 31,000 miles, the ice giant advances to the third largest planet of our solar system. In terms of its size, Uranus is surpassed only by Saturn and Jupiter. The latter is separated from our Sun by an average distance of almost 484 million miles. Although Uranus, which orbits our galactic fixed star at a distance of about 1.8 billion miles, is much closer to the Sun than Neptune, it's still the coldest planet in our solar system. In fact, 
the thermometer in Uranus's atmosphere drops to as low as 371 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Neptune, in turn, achieves a low temperature of negative 360 degrees Fahrenheit. The bone-chilling cold around the ice giant is caused by a special circumstance. Besides the immense distance that separates Uranus from the Sun, the nature of the planet's core plays a significant role. While the cores of other planets are sometimes glowing hot and supply the celestial bodies with warmth, the core of Uranus has cooled down so far in the course of the millennia that it radiates very little energy. The Incomparable Radiant Power of Uranus Although Uranus, with its imposing diameter, is one of the largest representatives of our planetary system, in terms of density, it ranks at the bottom. On average, the density of the ice giant is 1.27 grams per cubic centimeter. It's only undercut by Saturn, whose average density is around 0.69 grams per cubic centimeter. By comparison, the corresponding value for our blue home planet is 5.51 grams per cubic centimeter. In terms of its radiant power, however, no other celestial body can match the ice giant. The unit of measurement albedo is used to indicate how pronounced the reflectivity of an object is. Earth has an average albedo of 0.3, which means that our home planet reflects about 30% of the Sun's incoming rays. In the case of Uranus, the albedo is again an astonishing 0.81. No other planet in our solar system has such a strong reflectivity. This also means that we can see the distant ice giant on starry nights with the naked eye in the firmament. What's your take on the new discovery about Uranus? We're already looking forward to reading your thoughts about our video in the comments. Thanks for your interest. Take care and see you soon.